Sabring International Raceway. Welcome back. So, we have a Sabring International Raceway here. And this one here, we've covered it once before from another creator. So, this particular one I ran the other week. And this is really polished. Uh, smooth Raceway. I wanted to bring this one to everyone's attention so they can uh, give it a shot. See what they think. Get around here. Got the bridge. But yeah, no. I tip my hat to uh, Jeffy the creator there. It's uh, a solid one. A lot of likes on it as well. 497 likes to give you a bit of an idea. Uh, so a lot of people who have run it already thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, just wanted to. Uh, Give this one a bit of a uh, highlight. We've got our McLaren Center, of course. And a bit of a uh, spin around. Top left, you'll see it's a five lapper, of course. And this is the full Severin ring as well. Checkpoints are really well placed. Ah, the weird fucking inflatable man. And this is without the actual, uh, Mr. Checkpoint. Okay, welcome back. So, what we have today is a replica of a international raceway, Severin, uh, the full racetrack. So this one here, I've covered it once before by another creator, but this one here I wanted to highlight because it's very well polished, the track is extremely smooth, and what's really incredible, this is with the materials and props prior to the racetrack um, props that were provided for us. So uh, I think it, it's worth giving this one a bit of a highlight and shining a torch on it. So if you haven't seen it before and you like racetracks but you want a really good one to run on, give this a shot. Um, Jeffy's done a really polished job on this one. Uh, so we're obviously in the center of McLaren but this is just super smooth. It also has a good grip. Now at the top left you'll see it's a five lap. I think we're just going to do two laps on this one because it does take uh, it's, it doesn't take long to go around but you know five laps of this. A couple of laps you'll generally get the idea of what the circuit consists of, how well it's put together, that sort of stuff. Come on car, up you go. Can't drink coke whilst we're actually driving. Make sure you get through the checkpoints here. That right one is pit lane. Uh, it doesn't seem to be decorated in any way or form. Uh, this one's more purely about the race element. But that said, there are photographic opportunities around the track, you know. If you, you have various things you pass through, sometimes some uh, camper vans, other times you've got the bridge in front, behind, uh, boom cameras. You know, you just got to think outside the box when we're talking photographic modes, but there is definitely some shots that could be had on this. It's definitely due for caffeine. I need more caffeine. Put that around. Put uh, the 
inflatable man again. And slide and and if you like these types of tracks, or if you like rally or photography or rally, I'm oh, sorry, uh, rock uh, crawls, check my channel out. I have got a stack ton, probably 700 videos plus at the moment. All different event labs, all unique, all very well put together. Share codes in the videos. Um, hit it up, see what you think. If you like it, hit that sub and like. If you don't, no, nothing lost. You know you've checked it out. Um, and same for the creator. If, uh, if you like this type of map, in Forza, when you load it up, just hit, uh, look at the bottom of the screen, hit the X button, I believe it is, just pull the creator stuff up, and just hit the follow. And then you'll get uh, any new content when Jeffy uh, creates it um, on your list when you click in there. So, awesome. Well, we're on that on third lap, and as I promised, I'll get going. So, thank you for watching, as always, and um, I may see you in the next video. Alright then. Gotcha.